it's very weird what happens with Rosie. It sort of comes and goes and pops up. And we've decided that they're really university friends that they've met at Wittenberg. So maybe they've known each other for two years, but intellectually. I think Horatio is as close as Hamlet gets to someone that can match him. It's a very tender relationship. It's, it should have a different feel to Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, who are, are, are the old childhood friends that he left behind. And they do share these deep discussions about philosophy and the universe and the way things work. And I, I think with Horatio that he's really, with what happens to Hamlet, with what he sees with the ghost, his worldview that he's trying to establish, quite a rational worldview about how things work, is also really challenged and I think that as the play goes on, the things that he held dear and, and he thought were, were right and wrong become more and more blurred for him. He's left in a really dark, dark place at the end of the play as well. You know, Hamlet talks about not being a passion slave, but at the very end when, when he's confronted with maybe losing Hamlet, I think that's maybe when passion gets the better of him.